guys and girls another episode on the t5 hopefully you've seen some of the build series if you haven't where have you been anyway it's all fresh and painted we're going to put some windows in it i need to cut this side out yes i should have cut it out before i painted it but once i've cut it out i'll treat the bare metal to stop it from rusting i've got a tin opener let's get into it oh yeah We've got a little bit of burnable paper that'll probably catch on fire. Well, hopefully not. I'm going to use a grinder a little bit. Not a lot of bit, a little bit. There is support embraces that run through here, so I'm just going to... <whistles> cut through them with a grinder, and then I'm going to use an air saw from the inside to follow the recess. I've got a couple of tools, a couple of tips. Let's have a little butcher's in the back of the van. I have already cut the one out for the sliding door and I'd done that before I painted it. Should have done the other side. I got keen and painted it, so we're just gonna have to live with it. I'd done this one off camera because I wanted to learn how to do it nicely. That is silky smooth. We need to do it with the other side. That side, we need some light on the situation. We need to cut that side out. And you literally, I did watch a video beforehand and a few other guys managed to do it. So if they can do it, I'm sure I can do it. I'll put some tape along here. We're gonna cut right along that line just so we can keep a nice straight line. I'm gonna cut through there with a grinder and I'm gonna do the rest with an air saw. I've got a little modification to show you with the air saw. That is an air saw blade and that is an air saw. I have cut it down. I've cut the blade down to half the width. I'm gonna go through the straight with the wide bit, and then to go around the corners, I'll use this small bit, because the wide bit won't bend. You try to go around a corner, it binds up, it's no good. Cut your blade in half lengthways, and you'll be able to bend around the corner nicely. I'm gonna set a time lapse and a bit of a camera up, it's gonna make a bit of noise. You guys don't wanna hear it. You wanna see it on fast forward. Let me get the camera out. Let's get the grinder plugged in and let's make a mess. And just for anyone watching, I'm gonna put down the safety squints. We've got full blown, no trips to A&E. Oh yeah. It is the following day. I spent a bit of time cutting the hole out, making it nice. Hopefully you saw in the time lapse. We cut it out, the top and the bottom, with a grinder. Then I went round it with an air saw. And because we cut the blade down, it went round the corners nicely. Really happy with that. I die grinded the edges, made the edges nice and square to the inside lip, so it all sits nicely. I did then put some acid etch primer on it, I've got the kit out, let me show you. We've got dummy windows to go in the rear quarter and we have got an opener on the driver's side. 
more glass for the other side and I'm going to do one side at a time that way we can make sure both windows are nice and flat and sit flush together happy days it took me 10 minutes 20 minutes just to open the packet if you're doing this at home and you've got one of those uh, recycling bins that is going to be full for the next six months because there is a lot of packaging but that's a good thing especially with glass let's have another look at the window I then went round the edge with the primer that comes in the kit. If you're going to get some windows, you might as well buy the kit. Don't bother trying to save a quid and buy it individually. Just buy the kit that comes with the glass. I went round the edge of the metal over the etch primer with the primer that comes in the packet. Then I went to apply this rubber. That's a 17mm width rubber. That didn't fit over the width of the two skins of metal that was there. So I then spent ages tapping the metal with a soft hammer to make the gap smaller. And then in this bottom edge, it was all glued together. So I had to spend half hour cutting glue out just to be able to squeeze the panels tighter. Then I had to rebond it and then stick the rubber on. What a pain in the Aris that was. If there is a wider rubber, I believe there is a wider rubber because I watched two videos on this one of them mentioned a wider rubber go for the wider rubber don't bother with the 17 mil one because that has taken me two hours what's an absolute nightmare um rubber sits well and uh we're ready to go let me get the tripod out i've got a helping hand well i say i've got a helping hand he's busy oh yeah i need your help no mate i'm all out all right um Let's get the tripod out and see how we get on. I'm going to do this. Normally, I'll fit one side up so I know what I'm doing. But then, I, the videos I've seen, the geezers who do it make it look so easy because they've done it a million times. I'm going to do this for the first time so you can see how an amateur does it. Let's get it. Everything's all ready. I've got some masking tape half stuck along the top to hold the glass. We've got the primer. I've been round it with the cleaner. We got the applicator and they say you want to do it in one swoop so let's see like so i am going to add a little bit a little bit further around too but not far enough out so we see it. Yeah, happy with that, I guess. I'm gonna do the same to the window. That is about as good as it gets. One of the videos did mention putting a little extra around the uh, the drains. That is that. Put the primer over there, somewhere in the cold. I could probably prime that window. Don't know. Do I get that one up? That's gone off nice. Funny old stuff, that. Let's get the window up. Let's get the glue and apply the glue. I have preheated it. It mentions about warming it up to room temperature. It's a bit warmer than that now. I had it wedged in the heater, didn't I? They stuck the glue on the van, so let's do the same. Remember, I've never done this before either. So I am slightly nervous. Some of the glue just ever so slightly fell over. I'm going to try and stand it back up. 
which is working. One of them air assisted ones would be nice. We've got one here, but you can't find the cap for it. Because that pumps the wrist, that's for sure. Just trying to make sure the glue stood up. We don't want any leaks. We need to let it sit for 10, 15 minutes and then stick the window in. I'll get you back for that bit, of course. Sweet. Let's see, uh, let's see how the window goes in. Well, the time is nigh. We're not using any suction cups or anything professional like that. We have got one, but only one. I'm slightly nervous, but it is what it is. Well, it is what it is. Make sure you... I think so. Hang on. Well, I don't know. Even top and bottom. It says to get the uh, tape on. Squidge it in. Oh, yeah, after you've. One sec. Yes. We haven't got any glue splurging out making a mess, which I was worried about. Yeah. Happy with that. Yeah. We've got the same gap. Yeah, well, I'm happy with that, is what it is. I've now literally got to crack straight on and do the rest of the glass. We're gonna roll a time lapse and we'll have a look after. It's been a couple of days. I did let the glue go off overnight before peeling the tape off. We'll have a little look around it, tell you what I think about it, and then we'll have a quick recap as to difficulty on the job. First of all, I have got it parked in a different position, so the sun should be doing us a favor rather than giving us glare. And yeah, looking sweet. I was a bit nervous about doing the glass. Any tips or tricks I can advise is don't think, just do. Because the first one, I was extra cautious, doing little things, doing extra things, anything to prolong starting it. Done the first one, went to plan. The other three were nice and easy, literally. Get the, uh, get the primer on, get the glue on, get a friend, offer the window up, get it in happy days i did spend a little while after sticking it on making sure the levels of the window were nice and square to each other we didn't want one window sitting that way and one window sitting out so i did spend a little bit of time making it look good and then with regards to all the gaps around the edges it weren't too bad I did think, oh, the window's going to start dropping down, it's going to go wonky, it's not going to look good. The glue that is supplied with the kit, once it's on, it does move around 
but it is still quite stiff so once it was in place it was quite easy just to put where you want put a bit of tape on it held it nicely really happy i did however notice a few imperfections and look I bought the cheapest glass there was. Uh, future DTE should hopefully fill in the blanks. I paid for the rear quarter blackout dummy windows and I paid for the front windows, one opener, the other side I didn't need it to open. I got them from a place called Trade Glass. There's Trade Glass etching on the windows and there's Trade Glass on the box. Cheapest ones out there, get what you pay for. Um, the windows, they do fit well, they do fit well. I got the gap even all the way around the outside, but if we look, the gap at the top is bigger than the gap at the bottom. I tried to square the window even better to make that gap prettier, but then it would have put the lines around the edges out of whack. So I had to live with that. What I will do, I will be taping this off and spraying some black on the silver, which will take your eye off it. Well, that's the plan anyway. I did also see some T trim. Basically, a bit of rubber pops in the gap and then it's got like a little strip and that will take your eye off of that. I'll try the blacking it up first and I'll see how that looks. Otherwise, I will uh, try some T trim. I did really want the smooth glass rather than it being recessed. But they're like 300 quid on their own. So that is what I paid for. That is what I got. I went for the dummy window. I like privacy in the back, but I like the glass look. That's why I went for the dummy windows and didn't cut the backs out. Let's have a look at the other side. Same with this side. I spent a while getting them nice. We've got even gaps all around the outside. Um, and if we look along it, can't even see an edge at the moment looks really good and look again once the glue had been applied and the glass put on they relatively fell into position um, it's easier than you think so have a go um, happy with it the gap is more even this side I will black up that little bit of silver and you can get an edge trim that goes down the edge there. I don't know about that yet. I will black up the silver bits, but I'm really happy with how the glass turned out. I've literally just painted that handle. I'll be hanging it later. Let's see if we can stand at the back without getting massive glare. Yeah, sweet. I have also ordered a brake light, um, 50 quid from TPS. It's coming, but yeah, happy days, happy with the van. Let's have a quick look inside. I did leave it out in the rain last night and no water leaks as of yet, happy days. As you can imagine, it doesn't sit square with the window or the frame of the, of the van because the van's not square and the window is. So the, the gap isn't even there, but it is along the top. It is what it is. Happy with the opener. It's a little bit stiff. Maybe it'll get easier. Huh? Oh, the kids definitely ain't gonna be able to do it. Jesus, maybe a bit of grease, but uh, be a bit of grease, but uh, yeah, it all works. Opens enough. Only wanted an opener on this side for anyone sat in the two seater cut, uh, sitting here. Even though it's a blacked out glass, you can still see out of it. Very nice. Let's swing round. Same again with the uh, with the passenger side. Didn't need it to be an opener. Saved quite a bit of money, really didn't need it to be an opener, and I like the smooth glass look. Let's get the stand and have a recap. If you're thinking of tackling this job at home, it is doable. If you're gonna use a grinder to cut the hole, be sure and mindful of where the sparks are going. It does make a mess. I've seen people using hole saws on the corner. What worked for me was the air saw with the blade cut down half size lengthways really easy to zip round it i did cut the first bits with a grinder then you've got to squeeze the two metals together because i did look i mentioned earlier in the video about using a wider trim i couldn't seem to see any and if you just try banging this 17 mil trim over the thickness of the two panels it flared open and it weren't right so i did spend a bit of time 
beating the two together. I had to cut the glue because these inner and outer is glued together. I had to cut some of that out for it to be able to, but it was a bit of a wiggle. That took the most time. But um, yeah, just get on with it. Don't think about it too much. And if, if it's your first time, maybe just do one, see how you get on. I'd never done it at all before gluing windows. I've cut metal, it's cutting metal, right? But uh, I'm quite confident in jobs to do with vehicles, so it weren't too bad. But even still, I was apprehensive about doing it. I didn't want to make a mess, fresh paint. It went to plan. So uh, yeah, um, have a go at it. If you're st unsure, there is companies out there that do come and do it. And my local windscreen fitter, uh, all screens, they will come and bond it in for like 30 quid a window, I believe. 30 quid a window, 40 quid a window, which if you're not confident, it ain't too bad. And they, that's all they do, so it's not gonna leak. Yeah, happy days, um, really happy with it. I've got some grease. It's not the right grease. You can get white grease for stuff like this, but white grease makes a mess. This is probably just gonna wear out in no time at all and leave smears down my window. But for this shot, last shot, oh, I'm still tired. Maybe it'll wear in. The more you open it and close it, it'll probably wear the rubber in. Uh, but yeah, happy with the windows. Went to plan. I am literally playing with the Toran seats today. Single Toran seats for the front. I'm doing away with the double and then something special with Toran rear seats. But uh, I'm gonna pick them up tomorrow at the latest caddy meet. Tomorrow's Wednesday, which will be today for you guys, because it'll be Wednesday when the video goes out. I'll actually be at the caddy meet, hopefully as you guys are watching this. So uh, I am gonna get on with the seats today, get some, uh, get some ideas, make sure everything fits, and that video should be up Friday. We'll see how I get on because I only really, I'm picking the seats up tomorrow. I only really have Thursday to complete the seats, take the video, edit the video and upload it for you guys on the Friday. But I get in the hang of recording what to record and what not to record and being efficient. That's the word I was looking for. Um, yeah, happy with the windows, happy with the van so far. Ah, oh, it passed its MOT yesterday. Flying colours no advisories, nothing wrong with it, happy days. I am actually slightly ahead of schedule for the Christmas trip with the missus and the kids because we're going in this. Um, I'm ahead of schedule, it's past its MOT, need to tax it and use it before we go sailing up to London and something falls off. You never know, I've had everything off. Um, I am human, you leave bolts loose or you don't do something right. Didn't pick anything up on the MOT but we'll see. Um, anyway, enough chit chat. If you enjoyed the video, found it useful, click the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe for more VW content. Drop a comment down below. I like to hear what you guys have got to say. I reply to all of them. Really appreciate them. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one, guys. I'm out.